Yes, we do. Dance for life. My life is given to you. Dance just lightly. As we up in Mount Kela, and we are about to, to do a program on the Blessed Sabbath day. Um, prepare your, your chalice and utilize your chalice. And, um, you know, using that chalice there to, to meditate and to use the cannabis sativa or the, you know, or what you call uh, or your, your ganja, as the Rastafari would call it, you know, so we give thanks definitely. As we are live up in the mountains and Gully, I'm just going to switch the camera from me and put it right by the spring here. So this here is the chalice, you know, so you have the coconut, that there is the glue from the breadfruit, that here is bamboo, that here is bamboo, and that's our water flowing from the spring that, that we're going to utilize. So this chalice here basically is made and created in one kilash and it is available. You know, we don't recommend um, smoking it with split as we're talking about. This here is um, fundamentally what we call life source energy. This basically um, deals with the herb, as, as they call, as we, as we say in our other programs, as Aladdin, as the lamp. Okay, so firstly, you have to just rinse off the chalice because it's a dark area. You know, creatures could actually creep into it, so you just rinse it off and put it in some fresh water. You know, you know, we don't use no pipe water in the chalice. You, know, you, you only use spring water from the chalice. All right, so shake out some water from that hair. Okay, you pour it out. All right, then we fill up that water. Okay, then what we do now, we test it to see how much water you have. Mm. That's too much water because the water must the water must not reach, must not have as much water to actually get into your mouth. It's supposed to touch the tip of your tongue your tip of your mouth but still too much water so you're gonna pour out some mm -hmm. a bit too much water still mm. great spring water right from one kilash mm -hmm. that's too much still Now, the water from the chalice is, is what we would normally utilize as a means of, of preparing an eye drop for our clients with probably glaucoma, um, cataracts, you know, um, grain flesh in the eyes. Any of these things, they will utilize the water from the chalice to actually take care of that issue. So now we have, we have already placed the water in the, in the chalice because this, the ball, the coconut ball actually contains the water and that water there is as a means of of purifying so it purifies the 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 the, the clouds or the or the smoke from the herb because the thc and the or the cannabin and the cannabinoids people say well oh boy it's just a cdb that's good the thc is not good we basically utilize the complete plant you know the complete plant is what we utilize and even the water and the ash and all these different aspects of the herb these things they have are fundamentally very important that's things that you would actually utilize to help to uplift yourself and heal yourself of plenty of diseases so this hair, the water in that ball hair, when you pull through, through this bamboo hair, the, the, the air goes through the top hair and it, 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 it's forced into the water. So the water, so the air goes through the water, helping to cleanse out whatever impurities that's in the air. Right, and also when you're pulling out the, the smoke from the herb, it actually cools down the temperature because within the nostrils, you have hairs within the nostril. And you have a very fine capillary layer, right? That actually allows your 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 um, your blood to warm or also to cool the uh, whatever air that you breathe in. So when you breathe in through the mouth, you you have bypassed the nostrils. So the chalice itself provides us an, an excellent method of what you say to actually cool the the, the smoke or even change the smoke of the herb into clouds and to provide that actually cool and soothing um therapeutic value of the herb or what you call the marijuana the ganja so now so we, we've done that part of it so what we're going to do now we're going to prepare this is some this is some indigenous herbs right from the um you know from us our herbs are grown organically you know as you could see nice and golden that's what that's one of our strains called the fo7 specifically so that herb here now um goes into what you call the, the kochi 
which is a, which is clay, all right? That is made up of clay as earth. So the chalice provides us with that fundamental principle of of the earth, all right? Then we have the water on the inside. Then we have the fire that's going to light the herb, and, and then also we have the 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 air which you actually breathe. That's your air. There. Okay. So then what we do fundamentally is that let me just set up that camera here so at least you could, you could see exactly what i am doing in the foreground here what you've seen in the foreground is basically you are actually seeing one of the cottages in the foreground here so this is the herb all right and this is the the kochi and this is that the, that comes up, um, upon that when we are actually putting the, the water all right so then what we're going to do now specifically is you know you have to clean out the herb so we're going to clean out just clean out the kochi because you know the empress will just take out the, the herb from the family you could use one of them sticks so here now just take out all the leaves because all i want is flowers from that nice fo7 here you know um looking nice and and clean and you know you must you must have a positive med when, when you're using the herb you must have a really clean meditation so we don't use no scissors because we say fire bone roam and it's scissors and comb you know, so we don't use scissors, we use our hands to actually crush, crush the herb. So we're just going to utilize that whenever we clean out, clean out the, um, the, 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 the kochi, which basically is the altar that contains the herb. We normally allow the empress to do that because she likes to eat up the ash. Because they call it ash because it contains potash. Especially when a woman is pregnant, you know, it's very good for them. So you could see now, I'm, I'm just crushing this. Just crushing this. I'm crushing this. You can see this just crushed. I'm not basically um how you say that I'm not um chopping it with scissors. I'm actually just crushing it. So I've crushed it and I'm going to wet it with a little bit of water because what what, what you don't want to do, you don't want this to to actually just um be dry and just burn out quickly. So you're gonna put a little bit of water, I'll dip mine in the water. Some drops of water onto it and pass some water on that. You're not going to soak it up and drown it in water. Just put a little bit of water on it. And then I, within my chalice, within the, the shank here, kochi. That, that, the kochi, but you see it has a hole here. So I have a, a gritty, which is made out of, I have a herb specifically, a piece of um, star anise here, and then I'm using it as a gritty. Okay, I'm going to put at the end here, that's to prevent dust. And, and this thing and ash to actually fall into the water. I'll put this into the bottom of that and I'm going to load this up with the, the herb, fresh herb. Okay, our fresh herb here, right from our own garden, planted by our own hands, you know, and they're yeah, greeting, and, greeting and love, um, make a sunshine, blessed love, give thanks honorable for joining us and all the other people who are with us. Love and light, you know, peace. It's divine and okay all right so i have that hair just load it load up that thing here so okay all right now remembering that you're not just smoking this to get high you are going on a meditation you are consciously um going to meditate what you are going to do you are going to uplift yourself you're going to take yourself from a six level function of, of brain function as dr pool Crow would say and then carry up yourself all the way to that seventh heaven you know what i mean give thanks basically basically so now we have that here. So this is loaded up. We had already loaded up the, the remainder of the chalice, which is, that's what we, I would call my gun. You know, it should be wicked. Okay, so this is coconut. This is bamboo, bamboo, and this is just glue from the breadfruit tree. And it has water in it. Now, when you put up the kochi, you're supposed to create a vacuum. Okay, so when I put this up now and I twist this here, I have a vacuum. See vacuum, I take off my hand. Okay, so it's a bit tight. It must not be too tight because it, you have to be able to breathe through it. If it's too tight, you, you have to loosen it up. So I have to loosen up a bit. I think um, we should remind them that the Gucci mm -hmm. should not fully cover the whole. Okay, as the Honorable Empress say, the Gucci must not fully cover the whole. Can you say that to them, Empress? Yes, love. Yes, when you're selecting the Gucci to put in the Kochi, it shouldn't fully cover the hole in the kochi or else it will stop the air from passing through. 
and it's important that there are some little air spaces so that you can um, create the whole cycle for the breath to flow through to the herb. Yes, yeah, so it can blaze up. You plant on our well. At the love. I so love I'm just creating that little extra air space here. Which is good. Okay, alright. Okay, just loosen it up. Could be better, but it's good. And we're going to get it great just now. So, even when you're using the chalice, you must always say a prayer. You know, um, put this back straight. You know, you must always say a prayer. Okay, you must always pray because this is meditation. And what happens is that your prayers actually go straight up to the heavens and falls down as clouds. Because when the clouds are basically... H H two O molecules in the in the um in the in the gas in the gaseous form, you know, trapped or, or attached it attaching itself to to dust particles. That's what with the clouds you see up in the heavens. So when we look at the clouds in the heavens, right here, you know, when we look at the clouds, let me see if I could just show you a couple of clouds up Mount Kailash here. You see the clouds in the heavens here, right? These clouds here, basically, you see bamboo trees, you know, princess nudipai here. Basically, these things are specifically the clouds in the heavens. You know, these are actually water droplets, you know, trapped or attaching itself to, to cloud, to, um, to, to, to dust in the, in the upper atmosphere. And then you have these uh, wonderful clouds. So we're going to be creating some clouds with our chalice. So when we, when we draw in, when we've, when we've added fire to this, so you have fire, water, air. And then you have the earth, which is basically the altar, which is the four elements of creation. And then you have your efforts too, which is your energy, my own energy that's going to actually you know, bring forth that whole creational aspect. Jamie Albert, love, and respect, positive vibe. Give thanks, Jamie, man. Bro, man, give thanks, my brother. Um, so definitely what we're going to be doing, we're going to teach you how to utilize that because people just believe that, 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 that using cannabis is like, a, you know, they say, oh, medical marijuana. You don't really believe that medical marijuana thing, you know. We just deal with marijuana on the whole. You know, no, no, no medical marijuana vibes with these people here. We are only talking about marijuana, you know, cannabis, ganja. That's all we're talking about. We're not talking about nothing at all. So what we're going to use as our fire sticks, we're going to put a lighter here to light this because you're going to be inhaling all the gas from the lighter. Or nor are we going to be putting um, a match stick directly to this because the match actually has, has particular oils, specifically pig oil. Well, enough um, pig fat that they use to actually um, put on these on these matchsticks and these things to actually in, improve its combust combustivity or combustility a, a capacity to combust to burn. I'm not English. I'm just a, a visitor here. Come, honorable empress, give us some fire that we could actually blaze up the chalice. So while you're doing this, you have to block a, you have to block a reverence or say a prayer because you are about to enter into a state of oneness with the universe, with the water flowing and everything. You now we do give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. Holy Manuel I slash Ija, Rastafari, give thanks for the hand for the herb that I packed the cup, give thanks to all up food, meditation and fort, King Emmanuel the seven, Adonia Goja, Rastafari, thanks blessed. So now we have some fire here blazing at the tip of that fire stick. And that is a cannabis stick, eh? And we're going to use that to actually light the chalice. Okay, so we're not talking about no vape. Or no um, bomb, you know, or no cigarette. We're talking about the chalice, holiness. So we'll take some short breaths. We'll, some more we'll take some, some short breaths. All right. Um, you're taking some short breaths specifically yes make a sunshine you yes you shine this if you're ready to move to St. Lucia. okay welcome we have cottage and we're building some more cottages as we know we have a big group coming in you know um so this here fire Short breaths, then it, that the fire is blazing, and it's black reference again. King Emmanuel the Seven, Adonia, I go, Ja, Rastafari, blessed, love you, thanks.
Now, this is a this is a direct way to actually get your prayers up into the heavens because what is happening specifically is that the as you as you inhale through the mouth, right? Um, as the as the as the smoke or the clouds because it's not it's no longer smoke. It's we're talking about clouds now. Why? Because you have the THC molecule, which is that it is only an oil soluble molecule. It takes only an organic solvent to actually dissolve that. So the water doesn't really dissolve the THC, but some of the other cannabinoids actually gets dissolved in the water when you actually pull it through the through the clay cup through the water. So what happens is that the the water soluble component actually stays right inside of that ball there. So you have some other cannabinoids staying right in that water here. That's what, that's what when the Bible talk about Christ studied the water into wine. It's basically using the chalice the marijuana the cannabis and when the when the when the the, the smoke actually passes through it it literally dissolves the the essential cannabinoids into the water it, it's a scientific process and thus that water you could utilize it as an eye drop for glaucoma for cataract any eye condition whatever and that is also holy water holy water because you are only thinking positive thoughts about it and you are you are you are meditating positivity so all that is actually going into that water so that same water used from the chalice you could utilize it to sprinkle around your house. You understand to 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 pass on your face, to eye drop for your eye after you use a cheese to clean it out. You know, spiritual and temporal. Basically, this is some powerful stuff. Be Emmanuel the Seven, Adonia is God, Ja, Rastafari. Bless you. Yeah, so an ant a while ago, like, even the ants love it, man. Like, it was trying to get a draw. The ant All right. You went to school, thanks. Bless it. So bas basically what we are doing there is that we are actually holding a meditation. Not just, not just burning herb and getting high. You know, you're holding a meditation. What you are doing specifically, you are you are getting in contact with your, with your inner being. You know, you are centering yourself as, you know, to that point whereby, okay, yes, well, you are at one with nature and you are nature and you are at one with creation and you are creation and creator all in one i say i and i so definitely we give thanks if you have any questions when it comes to the whole, whole aspect of the use of that of the chalice you know you could ask your questions right now for those people who want to ask any questions um give thanks and praise to Ja. yes um dude bro give thanks my brother make a sunshine if you have any questions you know you could just ask that question so at least you could answer you if you have any questions that, that, that you want to ask as we only use herb that is grown by my own hand or by the hands of a grower that i know because herb does actually carry energy and it does store energy and the, the, when you use the herb it actually becomes a part of you so we are if you have any questions you are free to ask you have two more minutes to go because this is going just going to be a 20 minute broadcast so i mean just to teach you how to utilize the chalice and for the people who actually want the chalice you know i mean definitely we could provide you that chalice you just give us a call whatsapp one seven five eight seven two two three six six zero and get the real stuff aladdin and you could actually get the genius out of you say aladdin that's the lamp you rub the lamp ja that's the fire right blessed then you take a, a deep breath in you need some fire honorable sometimes when the fire out you have to give it some more fire you know you don't have to worry about it it's not that you a joke or smoke or anything and it's just that the fire is out because most people believe that smoke when it's while they smoke in the herb that's when they're meditating but the actual meditation begins after you have actually consumed the herb because 80 percent of the blood supply have been diverted to your brains right so your brains everything is, is very focused you know so then after you've done that exercise that is when you basically begin to meditate when all that blood has actually gone to the head you could even see your eyes just change color the eye does become red because you have 99 80 percent of the blood you know goes to goes to your your head and 99 percent of your attention is right on the upper things the higher things you feed the spirit and the soul ja rest of our life blessed yes my brother blessed love we have a greeting there from our brother Janai, you thanks and I will bless the love, beloved. Steve Mack, does it make you hungry? Would you recommend it during a fast? Well, I just, I just 
utilize a lot of herb when I fast because when I just finished doing a 40 day fast, well, 44 day in fact, where we actually only consume food once a particular day and you know it's small portions, right? So we just complete that and that in its own self, you know, I mean, I smoke more herb when I fast, you know, because I want all the blood supply to actually go to my head, not to my stomach, right? Or my gastric, my, or my gastrointestinal system. So I don't mind at all burning chalice when I, when I fast, right? It doesn't make you hungry. You know, you make yourself hungry, you know? So there are different herbs too. There are herbs that have plenty of chemistry, herbs filled with chemicals. These herbs, they would actually get you very hungry, but we're talking about herbs that are organic, clean herbs planted with the spirit of healing not just the spirit of making money okay so we are on our 20 minute mark 20 minute 47 seconds specifically we'll take one more question before we, we sign out as definitely this here is is the chalice how to utilize the herb you know and also how to make it work for you you know because no evil spirit does stay around chalice smoke you know whenever you burn a chalice right and then when you pull the chalice and then you you draw the smoke. No evil spirit. Any, anytime you're at your home and you feel some kind of uneasiness or un, a e or evil spirit, you know, you know, the chalice, the smoke. Even when you read your Bible for the Bible-loving people, you could see that they say, well, when the spirit of God came in, the temple was full of smoke, and smoke came out of his nostrils and all them things. And the temple, full of smoke, temple, temple right here, you know, right there, full of smoke, hmm, full of smoke, and the smoke come out of your nostrils. So definitely we're talking about divineness and you know steve mark give thanks thank you is the chalice water also good to drink we don't really drink the chalice water per se but we still drink it because when we, every time we do this we'll be drinking some water right but not like you're drinking it particularly but the because you know water has three states solid liquid and gas all right so when you breathe in you'll be definitely be drinking some water all right but we don't really drink the chalice water we we use it to wash the eyes, we sprinkle it around the place, we wash the face, you know, just throw, throw it in the earth, you know, life to the righteous, death to the wicked, that is. Thank you, thank you uh, um, for your knowledge and divine wisdom. Can you use cannabis with castor, with castor oil for topical use to reduce pain? Of course, you could use the herb with um, castor oil or with coconut oil, you know, virgin coconut oil, you know, um, just mildly heat it and you could utilize it as a massage, the cannabis oil, that's the, that's the ethanoic extract of it. All right, that you would definitely do. Okay? Yes. So, definitely we do give thanks, all those of you who are with us in this short live segment, as as we are deciding to actually provide you with more, more um, information, not information, to, not to help you, you know, um, build up yourself. Okay? So, yes, North Carolina. Yes, bro. Give thanks for watching also. And I pray that you all utilize it, share it to your friends and things. And also, we are on a target because you see, we are, it's a lot of works we are doing up in Mon Kailash Rejuvenation Center as we are, we are creating a space, right? Whereby, as you could see that, it's a space where I myself abide with my entire family. And we are creating this space specifically, right? We are creating this space specifically you know, that people could come and, and, and full joy it also and come and sit in and be able to come to help to, to get themselves to that point of complete wellness. You understand? So we give thanks for all those of you who have actually supported us. But we do have um, the Herbal Manual, which is a book. Right now it was sold out and we're just doing a reprint of it. And right now it's available on Amazon. And we are setting a target to sell a million copies of, of the Herbal Manual, right? To actually, you know, get it out there into the world and also to get the economics to help to build up a, a center of healing, whereby healing could eventually be free of charge you know because our ultimate goal as the great physician international is to create a healing modality whereby it doesn't really determine whether a man have money or whether he don't have money to decide whether he live or not you know, just for instance if you have a bad heart and in the western world you know and then you have to go and get a heart um a, a triple bypass it you need 300 000 us if you don't have that you're dead you know or if you need to get dialyzed and you're dead you know, and you cannot afford it. So many of the things that kill us as a people is just as a lack of an economic means. So what we are doing at Monty Lash, of course, right now we do charge people, you know, um, why? Because nobody takes care of the healer, but we are working. Our ultimate goal is specifically, you know, to create this space whereby people could come in and sit in and whether or not they have money, they have that capacity to get that healing modality. So basically we say this to say that we want to sell a million, copies of the herbal manual 
to, to help complete our project up here in Montelas Rejuvenation Center. And it's not something that we are saying, we're not begging you for free money. We're telling you, you buy a copy of the Herbal Manual and you buy it, you get the information, you get the, you get the knowledge, and then the capital, the finance, the economics. We utilize it to actually help and build and create that divine space, right? So those of you who want the chalice also, definitely, you can contact us via WhatsApp, 1758 That's one seven five eight seven two two three six six zero. You can see it at the link at the bottom also. And definitely, we do give thanks to the divine opportunity. May Almighty God bless and keep you and make his holy face shine upon your holy face. Bless the Lord, give thanks.